Hello, Jamalf here, and in this video I'll take you through some gameplay footage from the upcoming Falling Skies, the game. The game is based on the TV series with the same name, featuring some familiar characters like John Pope, Tom Mason and Maggie from the series. And the game has gameplay a lot like XCOM. On the squared tactical combat level, it's exactly like XCOM. We have the very familiar blue and yellow lines for the two moves we can take per turn. And uh, at least with most of the classes in the game, you can more freely shoot and shoot, shoot and move than you could in XCOM. But apart from that, it's very, very much the same. We have a base to manage, base to upgrade, gear to scavenge and upgrade, soldiers to recruit, level up and customize. And uh, I think the setting of the series to this game makes it very interesting. We don't have the elite soldiers we had in XCOM, but instead we have a group of survivors like the main character uh, Tom Mason, played by Noah while in the series, who's a history professor before uh, the whole alien invasion took place. And uh, I think that setting makes, make, combined with the gameplay like XCOM, has a lot of potential, even that it looks a bit around, bit rough around edges. I haven't played this game myself, I received this gameplay footage as a part of part of promotional campaign from games publisher Little Orbit, so big thanks to them. If you want to know more about this game, do check out Little Orbit's YouTube channel and their website as well. I don't usually do these kind of uh, promotional videos, but uh, in this case I decided to make an exception. This is actually the very first time I'm doing anything like this, because I'm a big fan of this series and I like XCOM. And I'll be honest, I hadn't heard about this game even being made before I was approached to do this and receive this video. And I'm going to guess there's a lot of you out there as well who hadn't heard about this before. So, as we go on with this video, we'll watch the rest of the gameplay footage. I'll talk more about the game, I'll talk more about the series. And uh, yeah, as said, it has a lot of potential. Very interesting setting with the setting of the series, with the characters from the series, and a gameplay a lot like XCOM. So uh, stick around and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Three years ago, the Earth was invaded by an extraterrestrial race called the Ishveni, and the fate of the planet was changed forever. The Ishveni have been conquering worlds for a millennia, slaughtering countless races and enslaving the planet's most valuable resources, the children. Left too long in Ishveni hands, they are transformed into something else, something inhuman. With so few survivors left on Earth, the Ishveni expected the human race to surrender, but we fought back. With the help of our alien allies, the Vuln, we have better, more powerful weapons and a new sense of hope. We can win our planet back, but only if we stick together. So yeah, uh... Graphics-wise, the game doesn't look too pretty. It looks a bit outdated, but I'm willing to look past that. Uh, because I think, as said, um, gameplay, more or less exactly like XCOM. Uh, there's no shame in that, I think. Uh, there's not enough turn-based turn tactical, tactical combat games in the world. And the setting of the series... Uh, it has a lot of it has a lot of potential. How well they have made this whole surviving scavenging aspect, how they have uh, tuned the tuned the difficulty, that really uh, really will tell, uh, or we can tell only when we see the actual game, and how well they have done that, that really affects how good this game really is in the end. In the in the series. Um, the group of survivors that, uh, that they follow in the series after the global alien invasion. They are a group of ordinary people. Some of them soldiers in the past who kind of take the leading role. But uh, they, uh, they mostly avoid the aliens. They uh, scavenge for food and supplies and they only fight aliens when they absolutely have to. Of course, with the a lot of this game taking place after the third season of the series. Uh, they, uh, I guess they have some more powerful, powerful weaponry and uh, the missions in the game go through, uh, go through uh, scavenging some uh, big alien weapon parts. 
or, or parts that they can uh, turn into a weapon that can uh, rescue the whole humankind or something like that. But, uh, but still, they are they are working with weapons they found from the field. They are ordinary people. They are not soldiers. Of course, they are learning as they fight aliens. But uh, the aliens in this TV series are very very dangerous. And uh, as said, of course, there is probably uh, difficulty levels in the in the game, but. Uh, I think these aliens should be very, very dangerous in the game as well, and uh, um, there should be ways to avoid fighting them when doing the scavenging, but I don't know how well that's actually made. But yeah, those not familiar with the series, the TV series currently airing its fourth season, or it might be aired already, and the fifth final season confirmed. The series follows a group of survivors after a global alien invasion, so uh, unlike in XCOM, in Falling Skies the aliens really hit the planet hard before anyone had a chance to do anything. There's no, there's no elite squad protecting the Earth, but uh, just a group of survivors who are... Uh, or survivors who uh, who organize themselves into, uh, into some kind of society and uh, military organization to fight back. And uh, aliens, they uh, enslave small children, I guess that's kind of a signature thing with the series. They uh, enslave children between ages 8 and 18 with these kind of harnesses they put in the, in the child's back, uh, making them sort of uh, mindless slaves for them. And uh, sometimes they are able to rescue these uh, children, leaving some of that harness and alien blood in them, giving them some uh, telepathical abilities that's a kind of a, kind of a double-edged sword, um, because the aliens, alien can sometimes contact them, contact them or use them, even without the harness, um, depending how long how long they were enslaved. But they also keep some uh, telepathical abilities being able to sense the aliens and uh, much, much stronger uh, physical capabilities than they had before they were enslaved. In this game they are called Spiked Kids as the game's classes. Um, other classes I've seen, Fighter, Berserker and Scout, and there's probably, probably more, but uh, I've seen those four. And these missions, uh, in this gameplay footage I'm going to guess these are two two first missions in the game, kind of tutorial missions. Um, you collect food, metal and medical supplies. And uh, with the food, I guess you keep the group, group alive, uh, control the number of survivors you can have in the base. And with the metal, metal you probably can build some weapons, build some equipment. And with the medical supplies you keep to keep the infirmary going. Um, healing the soldiers but uh, but yeah as I talked about the difficulty um, the attacks of these aliens are not really impressing me I think uh, I think uh, some of us would definitely die from uh, from a close range attacks like that and uh, kind of uh, kill cam animations they are a bit clunky Mm, so uh, definitely technology wise this game is not a masterpiece of course it's coming coming to the passing generation of gaming consoles to Xbox 360 PlayStation 3 but it's also coming to PC um, Here I come. all those all those things aside uh, as I said a couple of times already the setting of the series and a gameplay gameplay more or less copied from Xcom there's no shame in that as I said um, the, the potential is great. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out when the game comes out at the end of September. Um, this got me interested enough in this game that I'll definitely be playing this if I get the chance. Um, just to see how it plays out, because uh, I think uh, with uh, uh, potentially much more interesting characters than, uh, than in XCOM, much more... Uh, much more uh, uh, how would I say it much more lively characters uh, not just names names in the roster at least but uh, the familiar familiar characters from the series make it uh, make it a lot lot more interesting
What I mean is, with Weaver and the others away, we can't afford to take any chances. So but uh, yeah, it it will be uh, it will be interesting uh, how they um, how they deal with the death of the characters. What happens if Tom dies or something? I don't know. That that will be uh, how they deal with that. Or are the are the main characters from the TV series uh, some kind of? Uh, they just go unconscious, and unless you know, the whole whole mission fails, they actually stay uh, stay alive or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, um, if I didn't mention it, this uh, game takes place after the third season of the of the TV series, and uh, the the plot is. Uh, that they are they are collecting these weapon parts, but as we as we see, there's a lot of uh, customization with uh, with the characters. Most of these uh, recruits here, or I think all of them, are kind of uh, generic ones. They are not any uh, any characters from the from the game. So I guess uh, the survivors you get from the field and you recruit, they are kind of not in the series and then uh, some characters already with the group or who join as the plot goes on are from the series but uh, at least in the game's title we have uh, we have Tom Tom Mason we have Ben Ben his son uh, who was one of the first spiked kids who uh, who they managed to rescue in the series and then we have uh, John Pope and Maggie uh, at least Bob is Bob is one of the most interesting characters in the in the series, so I'm looking forward how they uh, how they have made made him in the game. But yeah, here we have uh, here we have Tom Fighter Glass. Uh, we have rusted rusted assault rifle, their corroded magazine. Yeah, I really like I really like this uh, scavenging scavenging part in this game. It uh, it can make this game. It's gonna make this game great. How uh, how they scavenge those weapons and ammunition from the field. I guess with the metal you get from the missions you can build stuff. But uh, yeah, we have rusty rounds, second second rate slugs. Yeah, they are uh, they uh, really have to really have to just use what they find. And I guess uh, as the game goes on, as they get as they get more resources, they can upgrade that stuff. But uh, but compared compared to uh, to XCOM, the kind of the, the setting setting is really 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 interesting. And uh, as I as I now watch through this uh, watch through this gameplay footage, I'm actually even more interested in actually playing the game. So I can't wait. I can't wait to go to the field and trying to trying to scavenge for better weaponry and. Uh, See how well I can fight aliens with some uh, rusted assault rifle with second second grade slugs and uh, handmade heavy bullets, right? So at least they can uh, they can build some stuff in the in the workshop, I guess. But uh, with the limited technology, there's only only so much they can do. I wish whoever recorded this gameplay footage would have played a little more cautiously, <laughs> like taking the blue moves, blue moves, and not just rushing into the yellow. That's how that's how you get your squad killed in, uh, in XCOM, and I, I'm going to guess that's going to do it in this game as well. But uh, I don't know. Maybe they know what they're doing and just just wanted to get this uh, these two early missions recorded for this video. I don't know. Yeah, that, that that doesn't make any sense. There's an alien, there's an alien there, and uh, they actually used both of their moves in moving into a place that's not cover. Uh, these uh, these kill cams, kill cams, third person cam. These are these are a bit clunky, kind of uh, not not that great, but they uh, doesn't doesn't really matter. If the if the AI in the game is is good, if the if the difficulty is uh, is on the on the right level, and uh, if the whole big plot with the missions and scavenging is is done done uh, well enough, this uh, this can be a good game. But uh, I can't really say anything anything about that before I play this game myself. But uh, from what I see in this. Uh, in this gameplay footage, 
it's uh, since it's uh, exactly like XCOM, we can uh, we can at least uh, at least we have that, and then uh, how the rest of the game plays out, it remains to be seen. Oh, I want to play this game myself. Why did why did you move there? Why did you why did you go one square just to get to a cover against aliens who only have melee attacks instead of being on guard like Tom here is? That doesn't make any sense. Now you're going to get attacked. Yeah. They should die from that. They should definitely die. Maybe, maybe this is on easy level or something. Nice. Well, I think that character was spiked kid, so uh, has physical strength to do it. But uh, and those aliens were damaged already, I think. Yeah, I'm going to play this game on a harder difficulty than this. If someone can survive two alien attacks and then just take them out in the same turn, that's not really in the spirit of the series. But uh, that was a spiked kid, so uh, maybe someone else couldn't do it as well. Maybe they are kind of a, maybe they do more damage in the melee combat because of their physical strength or something. I don't know. All right, but I think uh, there's a cutscene coming here that will uh, kind of uh, explain the whole big plot of this uh, of this game. So uh, let's watch that, and uh, I'll uh, end the video with some uh, ending remarks after that. Roger that. The survivors we rescued from the convoy are all settled in. We sifted through the rest of the debris. The medical supplies we collected ought to set up the infirmary for a good while. Thanks. We also found this. Looks like a Sfreni tech. What is it? I believe it's some sort of power source. And you are? This is Dr. Simon Buhari. He was with the convoy. Before the invasion, he was an engineer at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. NREL. Didn't they do research on alternative energy? Solar heating, geothermal power. That's right. Where did you find this? Our convoy passed through Boston several weeks ago. We were foraging for supplies in the wreckage of a destroyed Esfini command tower. <laughs> yeah, someone sure gave it to the fish heads real good. So you think this capsule is what exactly? An alien battery, more or less. An Esfini battery. This could change everything. We could start to rebuild. Whoa, 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 hold up. Professor, your priorities are all foobar here, man. Hal's crazy girlfriend's dead, and these Fenny are scrambling. If we got that kind of power, we should be using it to blow the fish heads out of the water. Right? Not enough for keeping the air conditioning going. I don't know. There's a bigger picture here to think about, Pope. A life beyond the Fenny. I mean, this thing could power an entire city. If we don't start fighting a dirtier war, Sunshine, there won't be any life beyond the Fenny. Well, what's it gonna be? Pope's right. Dr. Bahari, can this battery be used to build a weapon? It's conceivable, yes. Anthony, see to it that Dr. Bahari gets whatever he needs. Roger that. Alright, so uh, they are going to build a weapon and they have to go through a series of missions in order to do so, while maintaining their, uh, their uh, survival, scavenging for supplies. Yeah, very uh, very interesting in seeing how this game actually plays out when I get a chance to play it myself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll be going back into uh, regular posting of videos this time for real, not just uh, not just saying it. Um, uh, it's been a while since I've done any uh, any uh, other videos than The Walking Dead, so uh, looking forward to that as well, and looking forward to this game coming out at the end of September. I'll see when I have a chance to play this game, but uh, I'll at least post some videos of it. Um, can't promise a full let's play yet, because I don't know how much time I will have, but thanks for watching, until next time, take care, bye bye.